Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at extensions for the Chrome web browser. Google Chrome is a powerful web browser filled with loads of useful features and tools. Hopefully, all of the other videos and blog posts in my series on Google Chrome have demonstrated this well. However, as awesome as Chrome is, it may not do everything you need. Thankfully, Google allows you to make Chrome even better by installing Chrome Web Extensions. Extensions are tools from the Chrome Web Store that give extra features and abilities to Chrome. When you have them installed, you'll find them as little icons in the top right corner of your browser. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to get extensions, how to manage your extensions, and my resource with over 150 recommended extensions for you and your students. Let's get started. So, to find extensions, you can go to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store. From here, you can find extensions in several ways. First, you can simply scroll down the page and browse through the extensions that are currently being highlighted. Second, you can use the Categories links on the left-hand side to look at extensions for specific purposes. Third, if your school or organization has a recommended collection of extensions, you can click on the link for your school or organization to view that subset of selected extensions. And finally, you can use the search box in the top left-hand corner to type in keywords to help you find extensions. Now, once you find an extension that looks interesting, it's always a good idea to take some time to learn more about it before installing it. You can do this on the extensions page by looking at the star rating to see how people are rating the extension. Uh, look at the number of users to see how popular it is. You can look at the Overview tab to learn more about what the extension does. You can click on the Privacy Practices tab to see what the publisher does or does not do with your personal data. You can check out the Reviews tab to read more detailed reviews from people who have used the extension. And there's the Support tab to see if there have been any questions and answers about the extension. So when you find an extension that you would like to install, simply do the following. Start by clicking on the Add to Chrome button on the Extensions page. Then click Add Extension in the pop-up window. You will then get a pop-up window letting you know that the extension has been installed. Now sometimes the extension may pop up additional windows as part of the installation and setup process. This could include asking you to log in with your Google account or give permissions to use your camera and microphone or such. When extensions are installed, the icon to access the extension will be located in the top right hand corner of your Chrome browser you can click on the puzzle piece icon to open and access your full list of installed extensions. However, instead of having to click on this icon every time you want to access an extension, you can pin your extensions so that they show up in the top extension bar. Simply click on the pin icon next to any extension, and now it'll be immediately available to you anytime you wish to click on it. To use an extension, it is typically nothing more than clicking on the extension icon to launch it. Now, some extensions may behave a little differently, but you'll learn that for each one. As an example, one extension I recommend is the Postlight Reader extension. This is a tool that cleans up a web page by removing potentially distracting content such as advertisements, comments, and other non-essential content. This can make it easier for a student to focus on the core content of an online article they are trying to read. Here's how I would use this extension. First, I would go to a website that has the content that I want to read. Then simply go up and click on the Post Light Reader extension. The web page will now reload in a cleaner, easier to read layout with all of the distracting elements removed. With this extension, we can also adjust the text size and style and even color scheme. 
When done, we can simply click on the extension again to go back to the normal view of the web page. As awesome as extensions are, their biggest problem is that they are so awesome you may end up installing lots and lots and lots of them. Now, on this demo account, I only have a few installed, but on my main account, I have over 100 extensions installed. The problem with this is that extensions use up memory on your computer. Even if you're not actively clicking on an extension, if it's installed, it is active and it's using memory. If you have too many extensions installed and active, they can really slow down the performance of your browser. So what is the solution to having too many extensions? Well, the solution is actually having one more extension. The specific extension is called Extensity, and this is an extension that helps you manage your extensions. When you click on the Extensity extension, it shows you a list of all of the extensions you currently have installed. From this list, you can simply click on any extension to activate it or deactivate it. If there are some extensions that you want to keep, but you're not using them right now, you can use Extensity to deactivate them. This will remove them from the extension bar, but they will still be installed. They just won't be active, so they're not using up any memory or resources. When you need to use an extension again, simply click on it in the Extensity menu, and the extension will be reactivated and will show up again in your extensions bar. This is an excellent way to manage your extensions no matter how many you have. So speaking of lots and lots of extensions, I maintain a Google spreadsheet where I have a list of over 150 recommended extensions for teaching and learning and general use in an educational environment. You can access this list anytime at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash ext list, like extension list. The spreadsheet contains an alphabetical list of extensions, including their name, a short description about them, and a link to that extension in the Chrome Web Store. For many of these extensions, I also have a blog post or a training video or some other resource that I've created that goes into more detail on that tool. If so, I have added that resource to the final column. Now, all of the extensions in this list are either ones I personally use, or they're extensions that someone in the EdTech world has recommended to me and I've taken some time to investigate. As always though, extensions can change over time, so be sure to investigate any extension yourself before installing it and always follow the guidance and requirements of your school or organization. And even though I have over 150 extensions on this list, I guarantee that there are many excellent extensions that I have missed. So please let me know what extensions you use and how they benefit you and your students. I would love to learn from you and add more great extensions to this list. And that's it. Extensions are a great way to extend the power of Chrome with tools for assistive technology, content creation, review and practice, productivity, communication and feedback, and much, much more. And be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.